This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, Raw Vegan Excuses Edition. Excuse number 12. It's too much work slash food prep. Now this is a fucking excuse. Now this is a good fucking excuse. Because you pl- you're really playing yourself. You're really playing yourself. I think that you need to do an exercise right now. I want you to take out a piece of paper, please, um, because writing is very powerful. And I want you to write down the percentage, the numerical percentage that you believe you are in control of your life. What percentage do you believe that you have control? What percent of control do you think you have over your life? Yeah, get a piece of paper and write this down. Pause this. If you're driving, fucking pull over. Okay. So depending on that percentage you wrote down, that's the percent of your goals that you're going to make happen. Okay? So, for example, if you said you had 50% of control over your life, then if you want to lose 20 pounds, you're going to lose 10. Maybe. Fucking maybe. Probably not. Probably not. If you said 90%, then maybe, maybe you're going to get 90% of your goals. So you'll lose 90% of the weight eventually one day. Probably. You'll make 90% of the income you want. You'll, make, you'll find 90% of the spouse you want. You'll live in 90% of the house you want. There'll be a part of the house that you're just like, mm, I didn't ask for this. I didn't want this. What percentage of control do you have over your life? Because I promise you right now, if you don't have 100% control of your life, if you don't think you do, then you will not get what you want. You will not. No. You will not reach your goal. No especially your weight loss and your health goals. And you will never be able to be a raw vegan if you are using this motherfucking excuse that it takes too much time and there's too much meal prep. I live with a cooked foodist, okay? Because by the way, the world is divided into, it's black and white in my opinion. We got the cooked foodist and we got the raw foodists, okay? I live with a cooked foodist, And she spends so much more time cooking and cleaning than I will ever, ever spend. Do you know how long it takes to open a melon and grab a spoon? That is the meal prepping that I do. If you want to meal prep, then do you, boo-boo. But I don't meal prep because I don't have time. I don't enjoy it. I don't want it. I don't need it. But if you believe that you need to meal prep as a raw vegan, then you're going to have to meal prep. See, I was not convinced in 2011 that I needed to meal prep. So therefore, I don't meal prep. I don't need to. Sure, it might be a good idea. I don't need to do it. I've been a successful raw vegan for 13 years now. I've never meal prepped once. You don't see no videos of me on YouTube meal prepping because I don't know what I'm going to, I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <clears throat> I was going to say, I don't know what I'm going to want in a week, but honestly I do. I'm going to want the same thing because I just, I'm a creature of habit. I found recipes I love. I found some amazing dressings and I really don't change them much because they're fucking delicious. So if you are telling me that you don't have time to be raw, what you're telling me is, is that you don't have time to take care of yourself. And if you don't have time to take care of yourself, then you're in for a, you're in for a rude awakening, boo. Because you either take time to take care of yourself now, or you take time to take care of your illness later. 
Okay, so like doctor's offices and x-rays and surgeries and specialists and make these all these all these things take a lot of time. So if you find that you have to meal prep to be raw, then I suggest you meal prep in order to be raw. And if you don't have the time to meal prep to be raw, then I suggest you accept your inevitable inevitable fate, which is you going to suffer, boo. You going to suffer. It's very rare that you're going to find somebody who doesn't suffer that doesn't take care of their health before they need to. I know that you're definitely interested in being raw or else you would have never started listening to this fucking podcast. I need you to go from interested to committed. I can't have you just being interested because that doesn't do anything. One foot in, one foot out gets you nowhere. And at best gets you a mediocre life, a mediocre body. Do you really want that? Do you really want to be dealing with skin issues and fucking health issues for the rest of your life? Body weight issues? digestive issues, random ass issues. These are not normal. It's not normal to have all these issues. Do you really want to deal with being tired all the time? Forever? Or are you willing to start getting committed to something? There's many ways to do the raw vegan diet. I spoke about that on another episode recently. So go back. You can meal prep prep if you want. You, you know, I'm talking to clients all the time and they're telling me the reasons they can't do things and then I'm finding solutions, but the solutions are only going to work if they do them. So one solution is absolutely meal prep. If that's what you feel you have to do, boo. Another solution is to do mono meals, but know how to pick out your motherfucking fruit. Melons have to smell. Bananas have to peel silently. Berries, you have to try them before you buy them. Grapes, you got to try them before you buy them. Don't try to eat berries as a meal anyway. Okay, have a case of bananas every two weeks. Go out of your way, drive an hour to get the highest quality fucking fruit so that you're actually going to want to eat that. And if you're somebody who loves variety and you want some wraps in your life and tacos and burgers and raw vegan goodies, well, find somebody in your area that can make those for you or Find them on Instagram. I can tell you at least two people that will mail you. They'll make you the wraps and the brownies and the cinnamon buns and they'll mail them to you. Okay. One of them, I don't know if she's still doing it, but one of them is this girl, Olivia Herzog. Okay. She might be still doing it. And then there's a bunch of other people. So if you want that information, send me an email. All right, all you have to do is find a raw vegan, ask them, and then they'll, they might know somebody else who knows somebody else who knows somebody else, and they'll mail you the shit. And once a week or once every two weeks, you can get your wraps and your fucking whatever you want mailed to you. This is dry ass shit. <laughs> if you into the dry ass shit, then you into the dry ass shit. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I'm just not into the dry ass shit. I'm just not. Because like... I just know that I want to look and feel juicy, sweet, and delicious. So I'm going to eat the things that are juicy, sweet, and delicious, like cherries and mangoes and grapes and melons and smoothie bowls. And like, I don't know. I'm not into the dry ass shit. But hey, you know, if you are, then you know you are. And then you do you, boo. I ain't into it. But I also don't need variety. And also, when I want to wrap, I'll make a wrap out of romaine lettuce. Like, I, I used to make wraps out of cabbage. It's too, ugh, it's too hard. It's not, it's not, there's no, like, water. I don't know. I'm into the juicy stuff, okay? That's why I look so juicy, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, that's my advice for that. It doesn't take too much time. It's the least amount of time that you'll ever spend. Like this is the diet that requires the least amount of time in the kitchen of all the diets, unless you want to do the raw vegan gourmet stuff. Well, then you better be a raw vegan gourmet chef or you better marry one like Lissa did. Okay. Cause Lissa and Nate, they're raw vegan chefs. 
Okay? So that's what they do all day, every day. That's what they love to do. If you don't love, if you don't love to do that, boo, then you got to find a raw vegan restaurant or you got to find somebody who's going to do that for you in your city, or you're going to find someone on Instagram who's going to mail you that shit. Those are your three fucking options. Or you're going to be like me and find a way to enjoy the raw food diet without that dry ass shit. Okay, you can make wraps out of nori sheets. Toasted or raw, I don't give a shit. Toasted or raw, boo. They're delicious. You can make wraps out of collard greens, which I don't do. I used to. You can make wraps out of romaine lettuce, a bunch of leaves, Put your shit inside, fold it up. You got a sandwich. You got a sandwich. Okay, get some iceberg lettuce. Cut it in half. Put your shit inside. You got another sandwich. I prefer romaine, but the iceberg lettuce trick is good too. If you want like a very, very thick sandwich. So that's it. That's my two cents here. Um, you know, timing myself in the kitchen just for fun sometimes, it's really interesting because I will time how long it takes me to make my most intricate meal of the day, which is dinner. And it's always under 10 minutes, including the dressing. Okay. If you're going to include cleaning up, it's probably 15, 20 minutes total. Like people spend an hour cooking. Plus the dishes, plus, are you kidding me? You can't keep making excuses if you want a result. Please understand this. Also understand that you are where you are because you made certain decisions and you will get where you want to be by making different decisions. Better decisions equals a better body, a better life, better energy, better hair, skin, nails, health, finances, friends, lovers, whatever the fuck you want. Better decisions equal better everything. I want you to get what you want. But in order to do that, you're going to have to earn it. Please, please. Stop making excuses. You deserve to feel what it feels like to not only be proud of yourself, but to know that you're the only one who could have done it and you done did it. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode, boo. Bye.